excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the 60 Ninja, and the place to be for a Paper Saber universe. And this is the New World Podcast, brother. And we got some big updates. Um, I talked about it two shows ago. I believe it was on um, AEW Dynamite. Uh, the I, I believe it was on that podcast where I talk about changing some things up for the channel uh, itself, for the YouTube channel. I want to do more videos and stuff like that. I also want to uh, expand more on other things, you know, other topics and stuff like that. And uh, like the Sexy Ninja Cast, I want to do more of those, you know. So uh, starting in 2024, I am trying to figure out the day I want to do them. It's going to be two shows a week. Or one show a week. Uh, I'm going to. uh, We're going to have the debut of the New World Podcast Super Show. Yeah, I had to do it. And that was I. I was uh, contemplating the name, and I was like, I like Super Show. (laughs) So it's. uh, I'm. I'm still working out the kinks. I'm like. I'm trying to. I'm working out how I want to have it laid out. You know, for the week and stuff like that. Is there going to be two? And, you know, because I, I'm looking at the dates and, and things are looking pretty fun. And I, I, I think we're going to have some fun with the New World Podcast Super Show, you know. So 2024 is looking good. I'm going to ride out this year with uh, all the way up until New Year's for these single shows. Then after that, we're heading into uh, a new year, new projects, new music. I'm working on some music as well. And so I, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for this uh, change and uh, you're talking about some other things that I love and my interests and everything like that. So uh, New World Podcast Super Show is on the way. <laughs> uh, now we're going to talk about SmackDown. December 15th, 2023, we're in Green Bay. Corey Graves, Kevin Patrick, Michael Cole on commentary. And we start with the tribal chief himself, Roman Reigns. 1,202 days of this show, he has been champion. That's insane. (laughs) And, uh, like, but he he comes out, he's about to say some things, you know, he's talking. He's got Solo and Paul and Jimmy, and he's like, uh, yeah, you know, the next tribal chief, the next tribal chief is Solo. And poor Jimmy, he was getting hyped up. He's like, oh, this is my time, Oos. My time. Nope. Roman Reigns has declared that Solo will take the mantle of tribal chief. And I just put on my notes, poor Jimmy, sad face. <laughs> but uh, Randy comes out and he challenges Roman. At the Royal Rumble, which I uh, said was going to happen. Royal Rumble, I already see it going down 100%. Uh, Roman Reigns versus uh, uh, Randy Orton for the championship. Uh, but with what happens at the end of the show, I think we're going to get something a little bit different. So, great opening and daddy's home, as Randy tells Roman. Um, United States Championship uh, Tournament, the first up, Grayson Waller versus Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes got the win. I was like, oh, shit, man. I Sadly, I did not expect Grayson Waller to uh, get the W for this. I did not expect to get it at all just because I was like, yeah, you know, it's, Grayson Waller's not getting that push that he got in the first place. You know, he's not getting that at all. Um, so I'm expecting uh Carmelo Hayes uh, to win this, but we're going to have a fun match, and we did have a fun match. I had a lot of fun with this. I'm I'm enjoying this tournament so far to see who's going to face uh, Logan Paul, and I'm thinking this is going to lead up all the way to WrestleMania or day one. You remember that pay-per-view? <laughs> I think it was a couple years ago. It was like WWE's day one. It was like the day one of the new year when it was a, a pay-per-view, but I think they're bringing that concept back, but more or less... I believe Monday Night Raw falls on uh, the first. It falls on the first of uh, 2024. So I know that concept was out there. So we'll see. But uh, Carmelo Hayes got the win, and Carmelo don't miss. Uh, he's and he's got a lot of stuff going on with Trick Williams and NXT. So it's nice to see Carmelo Hayes getting some love here. Uh, but Logan sends a message twice. He says, who's this Carmelo Hayes? I don't know him. I, I don't understand his career. You know, does he even have one? You know, I'm, I'm Logan Paul talking talking smack. 
Uh, we got Randy backstage, and uh, L.A. Knight is there, and you know, and he's like, "Hey, man, I didn't, I didn't need you to save me next week. I know me and you tagged and we won. That's cool, but I don't need you, bro." And L.A. Knight's like, "Hey, we both got something in common, and that's the bloodline." So L.A. Knight says, "You know, I'm. If anyone's gonna go after Roman for that championship, it's going to be me." And I'm like, "Oh." So that's why my, my theory is changing a little bit of what we're going to actually see at the Royal Rumble. Next up is the next United States Championship Tournament match, Kevin Owens versus Austin Theory. I think he has um, Cody Rhodes' cast. <laughs> I really do because he uses that cast to uh, win the match. And it's what was it uh, during uh, the Brock Lesnar match? He's got that cast, that titanium steel cast. He can use it to his advantage, and it's not a weapon because it's a cast. He's keeping his arm together after uh, Brock broke his arm. But I like Kevin hits Austin with it, and then he drops, and he's just like, oh, shit. So, <laughs> and he just covers Austin Theory, and he, uh, and he gets the win here. He's going to be moving on, but Logan sends him a message, tells him that he looks like a, a kid that's really into dodgeball or something like that, and PE with the no sleeves and, and the way he dresses and stuff like that. So, But Kevin Owens gets the win. He moves on, and um, we next up we have Roman backstage. Uh, you know, him and Jimmy, he's like, Hey man, you need to handle, you need to handle Randy Orton tonight. That's what you need to do. And, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's promotion season. This is what's going on. You know, you, you do this and you know, you could, you could take the spot of tribal chief instead of solo. And then, uh, <laughs> freaking, um, Jimmy goes, yeet. And then this a nice slow turn from Roman and Jimmy just kind of goes into his chair. He's like, no yeet. <laughs> Fun stuff, man. That that made me laugh. Uh, Carrion Cross package. Uh, I I don't know, man. Like I feel like I feel like with Carrion Cross, I, I don't know what you can do to really get him back on top. You know, and it could you know I I think he just needs a revamp or something. Don't give him back the mask. Remember that. <laughs> um, but we go backstage. Uh, Kevin Owens. You know, after winning, he runs into Cameron Grimes. And then after that, runs into Carmelo Hayes. Uh, and he's like, hey, you know, I'm him. Don't underestimate me, you know, in this tournament. Because I'm going to go on and take on Logan Paul for that United States Championship. And Kevin's like, okay, I see you. I see you. You know, he, he's made a name for himself. Because I understand. I showed up on WWE. And uh, my first match was with John Cena. My big debut coming out from NXT. So he understands what Carmelo Hayes is trying to do. He's trying to make a name. Damage control is looking on fire right now. I believe they're all back on track. Uh, Bailey seems like she's back to being the leader, and this package proved it. This was a beautiful package, and this is the most dominant uh, uh, group right now on the roster next to Judgment Day is Damage Control, and you know, and uh, Bailey says she's entering the Royal Rumble so she can go on and take on Rhea Ripley and take her championship, and then. Um, uh, Oscar and uh, Kyrie Sane can go and get the women's tag team championships, and they all can drip in gold. And I think Dakota Kai is really playing that manager role, if you will. I think that's what she's doing. But uh, yeah, Damage Control, they they're here, and they're here to stay, and I'm excited for that. And sad news: uh, last week, Charlotte and Oscar had a match. They actually showed the footage of how she fell and how her leg snapped and uh, got an injury on her knee, I believe. Uh, she will be out for nine months. Uh, I saw her uh, Twitter, and she put a, it was just a broken heart, and she's going to miss the Royal Rumble. She's going to miss WrestleMania. And I feel really bad because, you know, it's one of those things, like, when you get hurt, yeah, it's just like, it's one of those things when you get hurt, it's like, oh, God, you know, my spot, my spot, my spot. But I think I think Charlotte Flair is a big enough star where it's going to be okay if she's gone for a little bit. Just heal up and come back better than ever, Charlotte. That's all we got to say. Next match of the night, uh, Mia Yim and uh, Zelina Vega versus Asuka and uh, Kari Sane. Um, awesome. I, I like this match. I like the finish. I like the fact that Bailey and Dakota uh, had their hand in uh, getting the win for Asuka and uh, Kari Sane. Um, and I'm glad that they're back on track with Bailey because I was like, oh, I really don't want I, – I want Bailey to go face – but I also want Bailey to still be part of damage control that did, that she created. That she made the most dominant faction here uh, of women. So, you know, it. I, I, I'm really glad they're back on the same page. So, um, then we got up next. We got uh, 
we got Jimmy and Solo backstage, and he, uh, they're talking, and he's like, yo, Oos, you know, I, I feel like this could be a setup or something's going to happen. And, and he's like, but you, you would tell me, Solo, right? You would tell me that uh, if anything happens, right? And, then so, and Solo just looks at him and goes, I'm your brother. But he's also looking at the thumb. And it's like, oh, a little foreshadowing there. I, I feel bad for Jimmy in the sense of like Jay. Jay is on fire right now. Jimmy is in Solo are kind of in this like limbo place. And I think at a certain point, Solo is going to go up even further up the ladder. And I like Jimmy Uso. So we'll see where that goes. But I, that, that little like, I'm your brother. And then kind of foreshadowing the, you know, looking at his thumb and whatnot. The Samoan Spike. And then just like, oh, I think Jimmy's going to get the axe. He's going to get what happened in Goodfellas. The, the, you know, <laughs> you're part of the family. Nope. Cap out. Get out of here. Uh, Santos Escobar and uh, Bobby Lashley will face each other next week. And in, uh, in the continuation of this United States Championship Tournament, um, I'm very excited for that. I think Santos Escobar is great right now. He's on fire. Bobby Lashley looking better than ever, and he's got the Street Profits on them. And they're, you know, they're, then he cuts a promo afterwards, and Street Profits are, yeah, ah, good times, man, good times to be alive. And I can't believe that we're almost done with this year. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a, a end of the year like best moments of uh, in the pro wrestling world with AEW and WWE and stuff like that. Also, Ring of Honor and some other great moments too. So, uh, like I said, a lot of stuff uh, I'm working out on, and I, I can't wait for 2024 because uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen. Then I'm very determined and excited to share with all of you. Uh, main event time, baby. Randy Orton versus Jimmy Uso. Okay, match. But uh, Solo comes out. Yeah, he, and then L.A. Knight got, comes out and gets him. I was like, okay, we're we're building to a triple threat here, right? Then Roman comes out. Then the number games, and Randy's getting beat down. L.A. Knight's getting beat down and everything like that. And guess who's back looking jacked, looking good, looking ripped is A.J. Styles, folks. He's back, and not only is he back, but I believe he is a heel. In this situation, because if we're going to have a fatal four way, which I believe now that it's going to happen at the Royal Rumble, it's going to be AJ Styles, LA Knight. Ah, oh, man, that, just saying this just makes me happy. Randy Orton uh, against Roman Reigns, a uh, fatal four way for the championship. And I'm like, <laughs> and the fact that AJ Styles hits LA Knight and leaves him there, I'm just like, he's gone to the dark side, the dark side. He's wearing all black. Uh, and I, I think that was some foreshadowing there. And then when he finally hit him, Randy looks at him, and all of a sudden, it's just like, oh, oh, okay. We got a main event for the Royal Rumble, a fatal four way. This is what I, this is how it's gonna go down. A heel AJ Styles. Yeah, baby. Let's rock and roll. Let's get to the Royal Rumble, man. And uh, I, solid show. Five out of five. Um, I, I, I really enjoyed the show from top to bottom. I'm, I, you know, and I liked the, 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 it was, it was toit. It was toit. And, and, uh, my favorite match of the night was Grayson Waller and Carmelo Hayes. Uh, second up to that was uh, me and uh, Zelina Vega versus Asuka and uh, Kyrie Sane. Next to that, Kevin Owens, Austin Theory. Uh, the main event was okay. Uh, Jimmy took the RKO weird. That you know, it, it, it looked almost kind of like a st- sloppy stunner. So, but it was a fun match. But we got AJ Styles back. So five out of five for the show. I really enjoy, enjoyed it. Also, hashtag Free Liv Morgan dropped the charges. It was just marijuana. Is the marijuana the, the the leaf the you know I, I didn't know Florida was still hardcore about marijuana laws man um, I hope Liv Morgan gets out of this I hope the charges get dropped I saw in a report too WWE's not upset with her which is a good thing you know um, so I hope Liv Morgan can beat this I hope we can uh, just tell Florida fuck off let her smoke let her let her be on the weed it's fine it's not like she was drinking so shout out to Liv Morgan I hope you I hope you get out of this real quick. All right, y'all, and uh, also, too, uh, sadly, Kenny Omega's out, and uh, we'll talk more about that on the Rampage podcast because uh, it goes into some storytelling that we're trying to do over there as well because they got their big pay-per-view that's going to end this year. So we'll talk about that on the next one for Rampage. But uh, that's SmackDown, December 15th, 2023. Green Bay, Corey Graves, Kevin Patrick, Michael Cole, all on commentary. And that's it. That's all. All right, y'all, remember... 
Like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandma. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja. Go to prowrestlingtees.com slash new world podcast. Get yourself that sweet NWP logo created by Penta X. Go show him some love. He had a loss in his family and uh, nothing but love and respect, brother. Nothing but love and respect. All right, y'all. Um, that's it. That's all. Let's get going. Tell me what you thought of SmackDown. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Love y'all. Thank you. Happy holidays and all that. We're getting there, baby. 2024 is just right around the corner. All right. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Between bravery and insanity, the Viper just interrupted the tribal chief. This won't end well.